All right, hey everybody, Wanna Weezum here. It is now early Wednesday morning, October 31st. Basically what uh, I translate to the majority of people is it's Halloween. Uh, as part of Halloween, I kind of had a double unboxing to do. I was going to do Fright Rider here and Light Core Hex. I had pre-ordered her from ToysRUs.com. If you follow along on the blog, you know that. Pre-ordered all eight of them. They showed that they would shipped four, finally. Uh, mind you, this is with me pre-ordering well in advance of the game. Uh, I just got the four that they shipped today. Uh, online receipts showed they shipped Hex. The packing list in the box that came today showed they shipped Hex. And uh, instead I got two light core eruptors. A uh, little bummed out about that. You know, I guess Hex, you know, obviously hadn't released yet. Jetvac is, and they didn't ship him. But uh, regardless, uh, you know, everyone's kind of familiar with Hex anyway, but nonetheless, uh, one of the new Skylanders, you know, brand new to the series, uh, he wasn't, you know, found in the Spyro's Adventure, uh, is Fright Rider, who hails from the undead element. His slogan, as you see right there, is Fear the Spear. Uh, there's a pretty good look at him in the packaging. As you can see here, again in the uh, bottom right-hand corner of the packs, they usually have this. Uh, triple packs it's below each character uh, this works in Giants he does not work in uh, Spyro's Adventure this is a situation if you were to per place Fright Rider on your portal of power you know when you're playing Spyro's Adventure you kind of get like a little default screen with a I don't know tiny looking dinosaur creature that says this figure is incompatible but uh, that said being brand new to Giants obviously that's where we want to play him anyway uh, here's a look at the packaging Really not a whole heck of a lot to it. It actually showcases jet back there at the top. Uh, here's the inset with Fright Rider. And then, of course, uh, showcases a few of the undead element. Fright Rider, Chop Chop, Hicks, and Cinder. Uh, they do just now notice this. Say that it works in uh, Skylanders universe. Uh, that's, of course, with your web code card. Again, you see that uh, internet-only tag. That's actually because I... Purchased it from uh, GameStop.com. Uh, it's one of those deals, like I said a million times. I kind of just bought everything, uh, you know, early, early Sunday morning online, just in case things were chaotic in the, uh, you know, stores. Uh, let me see if we can't get the knife in here. Again, I can't stress enough how happy I am to actually improve the packaging. As you can see, you got a super clean cut there, didn't even tear it. If you are, I know this is the minority of people, but if you are someone that opens you know, your figures and then wants to keep the packaging, you know, just either for on down the road or to reseal it, you know, when you're done with it or something, uh, you know, it works pretty well. Get him out here. Again, there's the packaging. Like I keep saying, this piece right here, last time you had that Spyro's Adventure tab, Giants is actually on the cardboard. Uh, so it makes getting it out much, much easier. Uh, all right, right here's your instructions there in the bottom. You don't really need them. If you are going to keep this, you know, bear in mind, this is kind of where things get complicated, hard to manage. But uh, I try to pull from the back side. Uh, looks like he is anchored in there pretty well. Uh, came out surprisingly easy. The good news is on Fright Rider, he's not light core, he's not a giant. Uh, you know, so you're not going to have any real issues, you know, with maybe breaking something. Uh, that said, you know, he does, this is very, uh, I mean, it's almost like a softer plastic, I don't know. I guess if you get him, you'll kind of understand what I mean. But, uh, you know, a lot of the times, like with Stump Smash, I mean, you know, he's like rock solid. Uh, this one's got a little more give into it, I guess, just because he's kind of in more of an action pose. But uh, there's a good look at him. I'm debating going into the story here, but I think I'll uh, hold off. We'll go ahead and uh, see if we can't get his card out. That's a uh, little bit more of a challenge. I think we got it done. Obviously, uh, behind the card here, we have his sticker sheet. Uh, there's a kind of good look at what the sticker looks like. Uh, then below that that you can't see, we actually have a, a QR code over here. And on this side, you have the code for Spiral's Universe. Uh, I'd show you that, but, you know, people amazingly try to steal them. So, you know, 
Uh, but that's where that is if you want to register them online. Uh, stats, again, this is out of 150. These cards don't necessarily relate to the game. Uh, not quite sure why they didn't rectify that this time around, but, you know, whatever. Uh, strength, 80 of 150. Defense, 70 of 150. Agility, 90 of 150. And luck, 30 of 150. Uh, pretty interesting story here on Fright Rider. Uh, if you were unaware, uh, he is basically a jouster. Uh, if you note know the big ears, you know maybe you think Elf, that would actually be correct. Uh, Rider is actually the name of the elf uh, that you see carrying the spear. Fright is the name of the ostrich, interestingly enough. Uh, hence Fright Rider, obviously Fright the ostrich, Rider the elf. Rider rides Fright, Fright Rider, you know, can't really explain it much, <laughs> much more in detail, you know, but, uh, story goes, these two, uh, always weren't like this, uh, they were actually the best jousting team in Skylands, they'd won three consecutive years in a row of the big tournament, uh, basically there was a jealous competitor, he put a curse on Rider, it actually sent him to, uh, you know, the land of the undead, uh, Fright was actually unscathed. He was still in natural ostrich form, not a skeleton like you see here. But, uh, you know, he was so traumatized by it, he basically ate skeletons. Uh, I'm not making this up. This is actually the story scroll. But, uh, Fright, the ostrich, ate uh, skeletons. It turned him into the skeleton here. He was able to then go into the land of the undead. Uh, there he was able to team up with Ryder. Uh, you know, basically they escaped the land of the undead. As soon as they got back to the surface, they basically vowed to, uh, you know, serve a greater good, help those in need. You know, the usual jargon, uh, anything night-like. But, uh, interestingly enough, you know, he, uh, I finally got the poll results back on the blog. They fixed that. Uh, he was finished very well in uh, what people wanted. Uh, I was actually v looking forward to him very well. I played with him last night. I actually hadn't unboxed him. I just threw the packaging on the portal. Uh, I've currently got like nine of the video segments uploading. Uh, bear with me on the first five, particularly three through five. They're just kind of rambling around trying to cover frequently asked questions. After that, we kind of get back on the ball, do character introductions and whatnot. But, uh, Really wanted to use him last night since it was Halloween. Uh, like I said, that's kind of quaid up to upload. But uh, got the unboxing done here. I'm going to go edit this and get it up for everyone. Pretty cool story. Uh, again, I'd actually not read that prior to tonight. So, you know, Ryder the Elf, Fright the Ostrich. Together they are Fright Rider, a joust team. Uh, supposedly they still engage in a jousting match or tournament from time to time. Uh, when I played with them last night, you know, you basically got your two basic moves. Uh, a is kind of where the ostrich jabs at you. If you press it, you know, repeatedly, then the ostrich head and then the spear. And then B is actually just a joust charge, similar to like the, uh, you know, skull attack with Ghost Roast or Skull Master, kind of your charge attacks with Cinder, the Shadow Dash. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice combo to have right off the bat as you get a little speed with it. Reading his upgrades last night in the gameplay, I think he sounds pretty cool. There's kind of like a tariffing element. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail. You'll see it in the blind playthrough. But uh, nonetheless, he is a brand new Skylander. That makes him, you know, fairly desirable, you know, for tenured Spyro's adventure fans. And, of course, those new to Giants. Uh, obviously, there's only technically eight new ones. Won't, can, you know, include Legendaries or Light Core or anything or Giants. But, uh... I think he looks pretty cool. He played pretty well. I think he will upgrade good. He's got a pretty cool backstory. And uh, that is it. That is basically the story on Fright Rider. Hopefully showcased him well to you. Again, to recap, you basically get Fright Rider. You get the uh, trading card, which again doesn't necessarily relate to much. Uh, sticker, web code for Spyro's Universe. Uh, $9.99 is what they all retail for. Again, I picked mine up from GameStop.com uh, basically on release day. Uh, any other questions or comments, feel free to ask here on YouTube. For a much quicker response, I suggest you check out the blog, uh, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. I am also on Google+. 
again, thanks for watching, and we will catch you back here shortly. And uh, one last thing again, since it is Halloween, hope everybody has a good day. Maybe uh, if you're lucky, you'll pick up Fright Rider, uh, kind of turn them loose in the Giants, have some fun to celebrate the day. But uh, as always, we'll catch you back here next time.